right now. We begin with breaking news. The second in command of the FBI has stepped down. Deputy Director Andrew McCabe served under former FBI Director James Comey until Comey was fired by President Trump and replaced with current Director Christopher Wray. McCabe has faced attacks from the president in the last year, along with some congressional Republicans, over his role in the Russia and Clinton email investigations. McCabe was already planning to retire this spring. He steps down today, but will remain on the payroll until he can retire with full benefits in March. Meanwhile, the Russia investigation could overshadow President Trump's first State of the Union address. The White House says tomorrow night's speech will be an attempt to reset the tone, appeal to bipartisanship, and tout economic successes. ABC's Lana Zak reports from Washington, D.C. The administration says this year's speech will focus on five main areas, the economy, infrastructure, immigration, trade, and national security. President Trump is expected to make the case that all groups are benefiting from a roaring economy thanks, he says, to tax cuts and deregulation. But the speech comes in the shadow of the ongoing Russia investigation, including bombshell reports that the president considered firing the special counsel, Robert Mueller, last summer. Fake news, folks. Fake news. Everybody in the White House knows it'd be the end of the President Trump's presidency if he fired Mr. Mueller. And the Washington Post reports that he had also recently considered firing his deputy attorney general, Rod Rosenstein, the man who appointed Mueller. At the same time, some of the president's allies on Capitol Hill are pushing for the release of a GOP-written classified memo that alleges political bias against the president at the highest levels of the FBI and Justice Department. According to reports in the New York Times, the memo also reveals that Rosenstein approved an application to extend surveillance of a former Trump campaign associate, Carter Page, just last spring. Having read this memo, I think it would be appropriate that the public has full view of it. The Department of Justice says releasing the memo without a review would be reckless. And Democrats charge that this is really just an attempt to undermine the Russia investigation. But a House committee could vote on its release later today. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington. In just a few hours.